Nick Selman at the non-strikers then. And Tom Taylor bowling the first ball of the match with two slips in place. And Rutherford forced onto the back foot, chopping the ball hard down into the ground. A good option in this competition. We can perhaps talk about why he's not in the side. Here's Taylor in again, bowling to Selman. Lovely straight drive for four. That's a beautiful shot from Selman. Lovely balanced, just punched it down the ground. And that's the first boundary of the match. We knew what he meant. Is Taylor in again. Bowls to Selma. That's a lovely shot. Driven through extra cover. And that's going to run all the way for four. Again, lovely cricket shot. Proper cricket shot from Nick Selman. And uh, crosses the rope. And there's no neon. And in comes Sanderson again. That one is a little bit wider. And it's sort of flat batted square of the wicket through wide third man. Ben Sanderson's doing an impression of a double teapot. And he's now scratching his head. Five for no wicket off eight. Here's Parnell running in again, bowling and edged by Nick Selman to around about where second or maybe third slip would have been. There wasn't one, there's just the one, and it ran down to third man for four. 29 for no wicket. Get some dots at the start of the next next phase of the game. Absolutely. Sanderson again nearly does create a wicket. It's a good line and length ball. A thickish edge by Rutherford down to third man. 24 hours or so. It wasn't very promising. Here's White in again, bowling to... Uh, Rutherford, who drives that away and manages to beat the man at mid-off, and it runs away. I've done that plenty of times, but I've, I wasn't quite as quick as him. <laughs> <laughs> so, last ball of you. Let's get out of the over here. Good ball. And that's his first yeah. wicket as he bowls a nice ball and trying to turn it into the leg side. Nick Salmon can only get a leading edge, so it probably sat on the surface. Well bowled, Freddie Heldrick. A nice little low return catch. Different, as different aspects of the game. Here's Taylor in again. Bowls to Rangold, who picks that one up down. Just behind square, and that's half a dozen. That's six to Steve Ryan Gold. Well, nothing like playing yourself in. Heldrick in again now, past the umpire Kettleborough. This is a shorter ball, it's chopped away. That could run away for four. It does, it beats Charlie Thurston. Really good cricket shot. That takes Hamish Rutherford onto 50. It takes Glamorgan onto 100. The, uh, the new guy, as it were. And the last ball of the over is straight, and he's bowled him. Got through his defensive, a lovely bit of bowling that was. It didn't look a lot in that ball as, uh, as Ryan Gold pushed forward, but it escaped him. I don't know whether it was the googly and it went outside or whether it turned back through. I think it went across him. As Sanderson comes in again to Carlson. This ball's short. He swings it away down to Freddie Heldrick at fine leg. Who catches it? Well caught, Freddie Heldrick. His heart would have been in his mouth. A good bumper by Ben Sanderson. He has a surprise bumper. He very rarely wastes it. It's normally on the money. That one was, and Carlson tried to find the gap between long leg that's good. I know plenty of others who wouldn't have done that, actually. And that is a chop on. So, so that is the end of Hamish Rutherford, exactly what the Morgan didn't need now. Ben Sanderson running the ball across the left-hander. A little bit innocuous. He's looking to chop it down to third man for a single. Definitely wide. <laughs> His Taylor bowl short, pulled away down to deep square. Charlie Thurston has caught it superbly down by his bootstraps. He had to make a bit of ground to come in. It was in the air a while, but he had to make ground, and that's a really good low catch by Charlie Thurston. Getting hours in the not too distant future as Taylor comes in, and that's gone aerial by Callum Taylor, and he's hit that very, very well over long on for six. Here's Taylor running in again to bowl to Callum, uh, bowl to the other Callum Taylor, and he's bowled him. He just skewed back. I think he got a little bit of bat on that. He was looking to play a sort of expansive stroke. And it just skewed back, I think, off the, off the inside edge. Here's Joe Cook, who's moved on to 19 in quick time, bowling, facing this ball from Ben Sanderson, and he's driven that up over long on for six. That's a, very that's a good terrific shot. shot. He, he went full, because we've been saying about uh, Ben Sanderson overdoing the short stuff in the previous over. And the batsmen aren't ready now. Cullen settles in his stance on 43. Sanderson bowls, swings out towards long on, and that's six. That's gone into the members... Area, seating area in the front of the Spencer Pavilion. Beautiful clean hit from Tom Cullen. Sanderson in again, bowls, and that's very full, and it's steered away cleverly by Tom Curran, away through backward point, running out towards the boundary. Long chase round for Charlie Thurston, who manages to get there and cut it off, but not until they've come through for three, and that's a half century, a very well played half century for Tom Cullen. 52 not out. Very competitive, 294 for six with one to go. It's a short ball, it's flat batted up to mid-off. Ben Sanderson drops it. And that's the end of the innings. And everyone's disappointed with that. Here's Hogan in bowling to Gay, who's nicked and caught behind. And Hogan strikes in his very first over. And Gay goes second ball 
caught behind uh, for a duck, and Northamptonshire are one for one. So he starts from the Lynn Wilson end, and his first ball is slightly over pitched and is driven for four through mid off. <laughs> Carey trying to make amends, does make amends in terms of line, but not length. He over pitches, it's very straight, which is what he was looking for. It was over length, which he wasn't looking for. And Ben Curran, for the second time in the over, you'll drag one down or you'll push one too long. He's in again. This one is a bit too short and it's cut for four. <laughs> And that one is out. It was a back of a length ball, and uh, Vasquez said us looking to score square of the wicket. It offered a little bit of width, not a great deal of width. He looked to flail it away. We'll obviously keep you updated with the score. He's, and he's bowled him. Hogan nipping that one back. Didn't bounce a great deal. Keo a little bit firm footed. It nips back, hits the top of middle and off. And Northamptonshire in trouble now. Keo goes for seven. Cook running in again from this pavilion end. Bowls again short to Curran, who pulls for a single, and that's 50. 50 to Ben Curran. Come back to that as Cook bowls, and Curran's gone down the pitch. He's gone straight up in the air, and he's going to be caught by the keeper, and he is. The last ball of Michael Hogan's over, returning at the far end, and that could be out, and it is out. It was a back of a length ball, a sort of a nothing ball, really. I don't know whether it stayed in the pitch a wee bit. Charlie Thurston looking to work the ball into the leg side. I say he's having a good game, isn't he? His cook in again. Bowls to Zabe, who pulls. He's gone out to deep square. He's been wicked and he's caught. And he's just picked out the man, Nick Selman. His cook in again. Round the wicket, bowling to. He's oh. caught and bowled. Chipped back by Parnell and a really good reflex catch by Joe Cook, who can do very little wrong today. He's having a terrific game. Tried to get back on parade and I was struggling. Uh, this next one is very full. Graham White plays a big, expansive drive, gets a thick outside edge. It loops up to backward point, where it's caught by, I think, Nick Selman. Real presence. He's carrying again, bowling to Tom Taylor, who's gone aerial. Has he got enough on it? Yes, he has. It just clears the man at deep mid-wicket, Hamish Rutherford, who leaps up as though he was in a rugby line-out. Sanderson on nine, facing this ball from Carey. He's gone aerial, he's driven up, and he's caught very well caught indeed at mid-on by Nick Selman. Here's Carey, starting another over. Bowls to Tom Taylor, who's hit that a long, long way. That's gone over the main scoreboard into the gardens at Wantage Road. The uh, few telltale leaves. Here's Carey in again, bowls to Taylor, drives that up towards long off. I think they're only going to be one. Billy Taylor's quickly to the ball. They're going to come back for two, and he could be struggling, and he's a big appeal for a run out, and he's given out, and Freddie Heldrick is run out, attempting the second, and Glamorgan have won this match by 59 runs.